Hello, I am Varun Grover and today we have with us Mr. Shri Ram Raghavan, who you have seen many of the films, but one of the reasons why he is famous, hai. apart from being a filmmaker, he is a film buff, which ideally all of us should be, like all of the filmmakers are, but he is a film buff who likes to flaunt it. To flaunt it. <laughs> yes. On Twitter, there are also pages that are only looking for today. Today, Shri Ram Raghavan has a which t-shirt, which film is it. And a lot of people actually can make a good list of films to watch just by, you know, <laughs> going through a series of the film t-shirts. So today, we have made him wear All India Rank cut t-shirt because it's a film which he's also presenting. He's associated with the film. He is the one who actually read the script sent by Jaydeep Sani and uh, he then called me and told Mr. Sanjay, Sanjay Rautre ki aap ye film dekh lije agar produce karni hai to and all. So it happened uh, in a big part because of him and he was kind enough to present the film also. So aaj humne inko apni film ki t-shirt pehna li. But we are here to talk about films you love and especially films in the coming of age genre. Is it one of your top film genres or? Yeah, is it, it is. It is because uh, in fact today before I wore this t-shirt I was wearing 400 blues. Ah, which yes. was one of, one of the films I would have you know, probably taken as an example of coming of age. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Achha, haan, you were wearing 400 blows and you made, malab, you made it a point to wear it for the Sort of, I mean, I had to choose between 400 blows and Johnny Meranam. So, that <laughs> okay. is no coming of age except Johnny Meranam is coming of age only for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we start with your maybe any five, six coming of age films you really like. Could be surprising if you say Johnny Meranam is a coming of age for, <laughs> Johnny, for Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Johnny Meranam. Johnny Meranam is a coming of age for Johnny Meranam. Johnny Meranam is a coming of age for Johnny Meranam. <laughs> no, it's not. We all make lists. I'm sure many of those films will be common. Yeah. One of my most favorites would be, say, Dead Poet Society. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these films I've seen many years back. Mm -hmm. But I remember having a, it had an extreme sort of a impact because some of us, they say, say we have had great childhoods and great school days. But usually for most of us, it used to be a bit of a torture. And for me, I used to also stammer a lot. Achha. So all the teachers used to sort of tell me, ki, Achha, tum jao. Tum, I mean, they will not ask me questions because I will stammer karunga, kuch baki log hasenge, log. Mm -hmm. and it just becomes a comedy. And I also used to hate it. Except for one teacher, one father, Ursh, who used to make it a point every day to call and ask me a question. And only in his class, I used to sort of start losing my stammer for some reason. You know? That point, society is about a teacher like that. I mean, a fantastic teacher who really changes the story, I mean, the boys' lives in that story. But we all look for teachers like that, you know. So, yeah. I mean, that's a movie, that whole Carpe Diem is something which once yeah. you uh, watch the movie and hear that line, you feel, ah, ye, ye sahi cheez hai, you know? so... Which school was this? Which city? My, I was in Pune, in St. Vincent's High School. And this was, uh, Father Hirsch was a German teacher. Wow. So, Dead Poet Society is quite recent. I was thinking you will start with something from the 50s or... 50s, I mean, there is one beautiful movie, which of course I didn't see in the 50s. Or, I mean, I was not there, but uh, I saw it much later in the Film Institute. A film by Fellini. It's in fact, I think his second or third film. It's called I Viteloni, which uh, translates as uh, the wastrels or mm -hmm. something like that. You know, good for nothing, you know, mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. so that's again a very sort of, it's before Fellini made his, you know, sort of grand, surreal, kind of uh, imagery filled films. This is by very much the neorealist kind of school. And it's about five young men and they are not even young anymore. They are already almost touching 30. But abhi war khatam hua hai and ko aisa kuch, they have no purpose, parents are there, they are just daru pite hai, they play pool and uh, you know, go after any woman who is available and uh, trying to and uh, basically good for nothing. Mm -hmm. And how gradually a series of events sort of changes in their life, mm -hmm. I mean I think the story is very autobiographical, one of them decides to leave that, you know, others are too either scared or uh, they don't have the courage to break out and so they are just mm -hmm. existing in a sense. Mm -hmm. This guy decides ki I'll uh, go to the city, the big city and do something, you know, and mm -hmm. that is, I think, felony. So that is the mm -hmm. feeling you get. It's a semi-autobiographical at least. I don't know, I saw it many years back, but I think these films don't date actually. You know? Yeah, and it kind of feels like though you're saying they're not in their teens and all, but thoda sa I get a sense of uh, the Breakfast Club. Kind of, yeah, also, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, later there was a film called Slackers. 
ऑल टाउन World War Two has got over, and the oil boom also has sort of, you know, mm-hmm. receded. And this town where people are again, uh, you know, the youngsters are trying to find their purpose. It's about the same thing, you know, women affairs and uh, what to do with your life, what what do you really want to do, and so on. Mm-hmm. The whole uh, sort of uh, the hangout place is one cinema hall there. And by the time the film ends, that cinema also also closes down, mm-hmm. and the uh, Korea War is about to start, and they get recruited, and mm-hmm. you just feel a little sad for a time gone by, you know, kind mm-hmm. of thing. So that. Kind of film if you watch now i saw it recently again during the pandemic i got a copy and i really thoroughly sort of abhi maza aayega because mm-hmm. now i'm more you know i'll be able to appreciate it more <laughs> yeah. but it was as beautiful as you got a dvd i think i downloaded it from somewhere acha acha because you order a lot of films yeah, 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 also yeah, yeah, what yeah. i know you have a dvd player right now my player is not it doesn't work but i've got lots of dvds which i've just kept yeah because i know matlab from what i i've heard also you ordered we contribute and buy one and say five people contribute and so at the fifth each one eventually gets one dvd so you get what you paid for yeah there was a time in bombay between i think 2004 and 10 that there used to be this these yeah, vendors yeah, yeah. will get these big kit cricket kit bags with full oh, of yeah, dvds yeah, yeah. and that know. that used to be there then there used to be i think palika bazaar and uh, there's burma bazaar in chennai where all these uh, yeah, know, the pirated pirated copies. because there was no other way to access a lot of these films there some we also ordered from sight and sound and all that they used to uh-huh. have and uh, for that time we used to do a lot for a film abhi utna karte nahi sir ha abhi sab aasan ho gaya hai to wo cheeze chhoot bhi gayi hain in a way Uh, what are the films? So Udan, I would say. Okay, Some lovely. Some of the recent yeah. ones. Recent, I mean, still is Vikram's first film. So mm-hmm. that was a sort of a superb surprise for me. I mean, I knew Vikram before that, but I didn't know what kind of a film he's going to make and so on. And that one really sort of uh, you know affects you again. If you have not seen a parent like that, you know of people like that. You mm-hmm. know of boys like that. And all of us in our own way have been sort of uh, oppressed. Not maybe mm-hmm. so much kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. I thought Udan was a beautiful sort of yeah. it did well it connected with people and uh, again completely performance oriented and hmm. so when you you feel very happy when you see a, a super film especially by a new guy so any other indian languages i like the first chapter of bobby and there's not bobby sorry mera naam joker acha acha the first okay. chapter yeah, yeah, which yeah. is a sense is a coming of age yeah the, yeah yeah totally that time there used to be a lot of this you know coming of age matlab boys and you know the girls the women they fall in love with yeah, kind yeah. of thing so yeah. so bobby had that summer of 42 was a film uh, which i think late 70s ka film tha is again about a group of boys in a small town and they are fascinated by this one very kind of beautiful woman in that town mm-hmm. uh, these stories actually end with i mean you don't nobody gets the girl and it ends in some sort of a tragedy in the kind of thing but uh, it was a big big success when we were there mm-hmm. and we used to this also had a very famous song summer for it to theme so yeah but it's a, it's a film every school boy has seen even the the tagline used to say you know in everyone's life there's a summer for it to mm-hmm. Wow, and then then what else? Hindi, I'm trying to think of. Kitab, yeah, see, Kitab, yeah, is a, Kit- again a rare kind of a movie. Yeah, yeah, rare, and and to have Gulzar make it, who is otherwise, you know, right. though he has worked a lot for children in literature and all, but yeah, you don't expect him to someone who who made uh, films like Marches and all very intense, and then about the childhood and. Farhan has made I think two or three coming of age films. <laughs> so, yeah, two only. Dil chata hai, dil chata hai, laksh. And Dawn is not coming. Nee, Dawn, <laughs> Dawn is not. <laughs> but well, Zindagi na mere dil ka. That's of course uh, the same company, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wake up, said. All these are, I mean, uh, yeah, later kind of. Yeah, uh, they are contemporary urban uh, coming of age stories. Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen Titli? Titli, I've seen. Uh, not the Kanu Behel. Uh-huh. I'm talking about the Ritu Parno. film with konkana as a teenager in no like not seen that in fact regional i was trying to think of i couldn't uh, get many as a 
तो मुझे याद नहीं कि क्या देखा मुझे आई एम श्योर आई हैव सीन काक मुत्ते काक मुत्ते हैव सीन या काक मुत्ते हैव सीन दैट्स नॉट प्रॉपर कमिंग ऑफ एज इट्स इट इज मिक्स हां इट इज वंडरफुल फिल्म लवली और बैंगलोर डेज हैदराबाद ग्लू ऑल दोस दैट वाज बैंगलोर डेज हैदराबाद ग्लूज रॉकफोर्ड नागेश इज या रॉकफोर्ड इज या I mean, they all were films with varying success degrees, maybe, but uh, yeah. they all. I mean, uh, when we, I mean, was then we were like, oh yeah, मुझे भी एक करना है कैंडल. Yeah. Do you think of uh, Apu trilogy as coming up? It is. It is. It is. I mean, in the sense, the death of innocence. Hmm. Yeah. Can you think of a coming of age film which is also crime thriller? There is a film called Brick. I won't remember too well. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that haan, is correct. Sir, yeah, that is a coming of age. Brighton Rock. I mean, I have not seen the film, but the there is a film with Attenborough playing that, which is crime and is about young young men. So I'm not saying it's coming of age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mystic River is one. Mystic River is yeah yeah. It is not crime thriller, but yeah, it is. No, crime. but it's a shattering film actually. I mean, oh, what a Boyhood. Have you seen Boyhood? I've seen. Yeah, Boyhood is for me. It is one of one of my favorite. The coming yeah, of age films yeah. to see the same people grow over ten years, change and uh, and the way they made it. Also, I think they would meet every year, sit and talk, and then. Make scenes while talking कि अच्छा मेरी जिंदगी में ये हुआ है और मेरी जिंदगी में ये हुआ है लेट्स मेक अ सीन आउट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स एंड लाइक इट्स मिराकल दैट फिल्म है आई लव द फिल्म बट इन वे इट्स लाइक This is not a film. It's a project. I would never be able to do that. You know? yeah. so maybe it's the patience or the time or whatever. I'll say. So yeah. Too special. Sir, I think nobody must have been knowing of that film. A film called Khargosh. Oh, a hey, lovely Paresh film. Ha, Paresh Kamdar and I think it based on a short story by Priyam Vat. बहुत सुंदर फिल्म लवली फिल्म ओ टी टी पे भी नहीं आई वो जस्ट हम लोग कई सर्कल्स में कोई लिंक भेज रहा था वैसे देखे मैंने पर्दे पे देखा था लेकिन पर्दे पे इट वाज मोर ऑफ अ स्पेशल स्क्रीनिंग बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई इट्स नॉट रिलीज फिर आज परेश की क्या व्हाट हैपेंड एंड द ओनली थिंग इज समवेयर आई मीन इट्स सच अ ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी आई थिंक इट केम रफली एट द टाइम व्हेन देयर वाज नो वे टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इंडिपेंडेंट सिनेमा देयर वाज ओनली बिग बिग बीच में कुछ भी नहीं जब ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म भी नहीं थे और कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा था तो वो आई थिंक सोल्ड डी वी डी इज ऑन देर ओन पेज वहां से हमने खरीदा था तो किसी का पास एक्चुअल डीवीडी था फिल्म का बट इट वॉज सोल्ड बाई द फिल्म मेकर शाला है किला है इवन दिस अभी आत्मा पैम्फलेट आई हैव नॉट सीन इट बट आई हैव आ गई है मैं अभी मुझे भी देखनी है फिर फैंड्री है मराठी में है ये अच्छा एक ट्रेडिशन एंड पीपल एक्सेप्ट दीज फिल्म लॉट ऑफ देम आर सुपर हिट्स ऑल्सो लाइक बालक पालक आई थिंक वॉज एनी अदर यू थिंक यूर मिसिंग आई एम मिसिंग द इम्तिहान my one of my favorite movies because it was i was mera kuch 10th ka exam chal raha tha when i went and saw it mere ko bahut fayda hua usse acha kya fayda hua fayda hua ki mera ek class ek marathi exam tha and we had a so chapter on shivaji's coronation ha ha and that was the documentary that was shown before they showed imtihan they used to show film <laughs> division ka because 300 <laughs> saal hua tha shivaji's coronation ka okay okay so, okay i matlab mai sab acha acha words mereko aur hamara in the marathi paper mein aise bhi aaya ki write about the uh, coronation the raja abhishek as a viewer a guest अच्छा तो मतलब मैंने अभी डॉक्यूमेंट्री देखा था तो मैंने थोड़ा बहुत मिला होगा उसमें से क्या बात है सेवन और टेन मिला होगा ओके दैट्स सो सच अ लकी स्ट्राइक देयर कि देखने गए थे इम्तिहान और उससे अपने इम्तिहान में फायदा हो गया है वन अच्छा दिस रेट्रो थिंग या जस्ट ओपन इट यू सी दैट्स अ कैसेट एंड यूएसबी ओके तो उसमें यूएसबी है यू कैन पुल इट आउट अगर किसी right, का ये yeah. वाला नहीं लगता है तो ये टाइप लगा सकते हैं बट दे फुल ट्रैक लिस्टिंग लाइक ओल्ड टाइम्स ऑफ कोर्स ऑल ऑफ दिस इज डिजिटल सो दे इज नो साइड ए साइड बी बट स्टिल वी हैव पुट इट फॉर आर आई एम सो हैप्पी विद दिस आर जॉय हां हम लोग चाहते थे कुछ ऐसा फिल्म से जुड़ा हुआ कुछ बनाएं 
एंड समवन पॉइंटेड आउट वो मैंने दिया उसको उस, वो बोला अरे ये वी एच एस टेप है क्या तो वो बड़ा साइज में हाँ वी एच एस लग रहा है और अंदर इसके ऑडियो कैसेट है लॉट ऑफ फिल्म एंड अफकोर्स मिस्टर राघवन से फिल्मों की बात छह घंटा भी हो सकती है बट अभी के लिए हमारे पास इतना ही वक्त है तो आप लोग देखिए ट्वेंटी थर्ड फेब को आ गई है थिएटर्स में जैसा कि हम बात कर रहे थे कि बहुत कम बनती हैं कमिंग ऑफ एज फिल्में हिंदी में तो वी आर ट्राइंग समथिंग एंड वी होप यू लाइक इट एंड वी होप पीपल मेक मोर ऑफ दीज इफ वी काइंड ऑफ वर्क विद योर सपोर्ट सो थैंक यू प्लीज गो वॉच इट मतलब मैंने मेरा दूसरा टीचर निकाल के पहना है तो एनी टीचर थैंक यू थैंक यू